It was a terrifying moment. I remember the instructor had taught myself and my students exactly how to abseil down the side of the dam wall and how to hold onto the rope that was attached to the harness, threaded through the carabiner, in which we could control our descent. But that terrifying moment of leaving terra firma, the firm, strong ground that I would normally trust in, and to allow myself to enter into another world completely, that moment of letting go was exceptionally difficult. We often watch a child who moves from crawling and becoming a toddler. And the moment that they have to let go of how they have been accessing their world, sliding across the floor, and suddenly they are vulnerable, tottering, bumping into things, and yet they let go of the known method of transport until that point crawling, and suddenly they are mobile in a whole different world. We are taught this week how Hashem gave us manna in the desert. And the way it's described is that God afflicted us. And He starved us. And then He gave us the man to eat. And whilst there are many interpretations as to what the affliction and the hunger was, one of the commentaries explains that God caused us affliction and hunger so that we would be ready to eat the manna in the desert. Had we come off a full stomach, out of a restaurant, with a whole array of foods and choices, we probably would have told God, we don't want your manna. We're happier to eat the food that we have. But when we confronted the reality of the desert and we were starving and we were hungry, and suddenly the only method of survival was to eat the manna given by God, we suddenly had access to survival through the desert for 40 years. The hardest thing is to let go. We know what normally holds us. We rely on our experiences of the past. And there are moments that we have to let go of our past experience to enter into a new world that offers so much more. There's the story of a guy who had fallen off the side of a cliff and he was holding on to a twig sticking out of the rocks on the side of the cliff face. And he cried out and he screamed and he said, please help me, somebody help me. Then there was a voice that boomed out from the top and it said, you want help? It says, yes, please give me help. You want help? This is God. Just let go. And he looked up in desperation and he said, is there anybody else up there that would like to help? We don't like letting go. We know what we are trusting in and we know our experiences and we feel that we are secure in, in that which is familiar to us and our survival techniques until now. Sometimes Hashem turns to us and says, I will deprive you of what you think is your method of survival so that you can enter into a world that is infinitely greater and infinitely more miraculous and will allow you to survive situations and terrain that you could never without the miraculous manner of God. Hashem sometimes dismantles the physical structures that we construct to secure ourselves so that we are open ourselves up to an infinitely greater spiritual value that we might not have tasted had we felt too secure in ourselves. Let us look at moments in which we are deprived of the familiar as opportunities for growth into areas we've never entered into until now. Have a beautiful Shabbos.